Portuguese man of war gets its name from the gas filled bladder that sits on the surface of the water and looks like an old warship at full sail. These beautiful creatures are purply blue in color, so some people sometimes call them blue bottles. We will also often call them jellyfish, but they're actually siphonophores, a colonial organism that is related to jellyfish. A colonial organism is one that is made up of a bunch of organisms that live and work together rather than being one animal. That means if you ever see a Portuguese man of war, you aren't looking at one animal, but many. They can be divided up into four body parts or polyps that each have fun names. The pneumatophore is the uppermost polyp or the gas filled bladder that looks like the sails of a ship. The dactylozoid is just a complicated name for the tentacles. These long tendrils can grow up to 50 meters and are covered with nematocysts, tiny weapons that are filled with deadly poisonous venom that's used to paralyze and kill fish and other small species. It won't kill us humans, but I've heard it's very painful if you were to get stuck. So definitely stay clear if you see one of these man of wars, even if it's just washed up on a beach. The gastrozoid lies under the sail and is where their prey gets digested. And the gonozoid is the reproductive organ that's useful for making the next generation of baby Portuguese man of wars. To do this, Portuguese man of wars use a method called broadcast spawning, where a lot of them will come together at one time in one place, and the males and females release the ingredients important for baby making into the water column like confetti. Only a few species are brave enough to feed on man of wars, like the ocean sunfish, the mola mola, and the loghead turtle. Man of wars don't spend any money on travel because they simply use their inbuilt sails to drift on currents or catch the winds in warm waters all across the world.